Hey guys, it's Ellie in Space here and I am back in Florida. I am near Playa Linda Beach. This is actually a national park and if you can see in the background, we are keeping our eye on pad 39A because we are waiting for Falcon Heavy to be erected ahead of tomorrow's launch. That will be Tuesday, November 1st at 9.40 a.m. Eastern Time. And this is a big deal because we haven't seen a Falcon Heavy launch in over three years. In fact, the last launch was in June of 2019, and this will only be the fourth time the Falcon Heavy has flown. So it's a really rare moment, and I'm especially excited because we are going to do what's called the Feel the Heat Tour at the Kennedy Space Center. So we'll be able to feel that rumble, and I can't wait to share, capture that and share with you guys what that all feels like. Oh my God. I'm reading my notes and there's an alligator. Holy crap! Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's watching. British sheep breaks in the China too. Falcon Heavy is currently the world's most powerful operational rocket, and with its 27 Merlin engines, it is going to carry two space technology payloads into orbit tomorrow for the U.S. Space Force. And get this, this will be SpaceX's first direct to geo mission, which means that the Falcon Heavy will launch the payload straight into a geostationary orbit about 3,600 kilometers above the Earth's surface. So this mission tomorrow is for the U.S. Space Force, and the primary payload is classified but the secondary payload is a small satellite that they're calling Tetra-1. And actually, you guys, this mission has experienced several delays. The mission USS F-44 was originally scheduled for December 2020, so almost two years so ago. why hasn't it flown in 40 months? Well, there just hasn't been that much demand. For example, since the last Falcon Heavy launch in June of 2019, there have been 111 launches of the Falcon 9 and we cannot wait to show you the launch. I'm really excited to do the Feel the Heat tour. I didn't even know that that was a thing, but I'll be able to feel those supersonic booms, so that's pretty exciting. 